Hello everyone, Chris Reynolds again here at Gospa Missions and Abode for Children. I wanted to share with you today, um, tomorrow starts the Novena. It's nine days prior to the Feast of the Sacred Heart. And I'll be starting that Novena and I'd ask you to join me. Join me. Um, you can go online. Uh, I think there's also no more pray no more novenas.com. Give them a little shout out. They send you an email every day to remind you. And uh, it's been great for me because I, I kind of forget and I add it to my morning routine and my morning prayers. You know, one of the things we have to do is we can't be lukewarm. We either have to be hot or cold. And I try each and every day to be hot. I don't want to be cold and I surely don't want to be lukewarm. I don't want to go through life just going to Mass on Sunday and that's it. I just, God has been too good to me. He has blessed me abundantly throughout the years, um, ever since I turned back to him. And even prior to that, it's just, I didn't recognize it. And a lot of times, you know, I talk to people and I, I tell them, pray about it, pray for it. And oh, I don't want to bother God with that little stuff. And even the littlest things he cares about, he knows the number of hairs on our head. So why not turn to him in everything? And so as I start this novena to the Sacred Heart, I'm going to be praying for all of you. I'm going to be praying that you'll get on fire. And Jesus' fire that burns within his most sacred heart will catch you on fire to go out and save souls. Souls are falling into hell each and every day, and I pray that mine doesn't pray for me. Because it's, it's one of these things where we need to be praying unceasingly in these times. I truly believe we're in a time of great trial and tribulation and more to come. Um, you know, you look at our world, our economy, our church. Um, there's divisions within the church. You know, we have, to be honest with you, the, the hierarchy is, is separating us. And, you know, we attend Latin Mass, and a lot of you know that. And it's sad to hear, you know, I just read an article, I just saw a headline, I didn't read the article yet, on that D.C., uh, the Archdiocese of D.C. is looking at suppressing the, the Latin Mass. And I'm like, why? You know, we have all these different liturgies. You know, we have the liturgies for the homosexuals. We have the liturgies for this. We have liturgical dancing. We have bongos and we have pachamamas but we can't have the beauty and tradition of the ages I, I don't get that that tells me that this other stuff is not of god because they're going after the beauty and the tradition things that have been around for thousands of years why 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 are we trying why are they trying to destroy this Let's not have divisions. Let's go back to our own parishes and say, you know what? We want beauty. We want the beauty of the liturgy. We want beautiful music. We want the smells. We want the bells. Because most people do. The young people do for sure. Because they're coming in, in droves to the Latin Mass. I mean, our, our Masses are packed. And it's a lot of young families. People want the beauty. They want the, the awe, at least for an hour, in our case, an hour and a half a week. They don't want the nightclub band playing. I get it. You know, I'm, look, I'm charismatic at heart. I will throw up my hands with the best of them and praise the Lord. But for me, having the beauty and the sameness of the, the liturgy each and every week, in each and every day, in any church I go into, brings peace into my heart. Because as I was traveling, man, I saw abominations going on in the liturgy. Priests changing the words, Elevation, this is a happy meal for a happy people? 
Guys, let's pray. Let's come together. Let's demand beauty. We have that right. We can demand it. And ask our pastors to step up. Bring beauty back. Bring beauty so we can see the most sacred heart of Jesus truly present in the blessed sacrament, body, blood, soul, and divinity. Pray for us. We'll be praying for you. I'll be starting this novena tomorrow, and I will be praying for each and every one of you. God bless you, and have a great day.